Welcome to Electron Online, and here's our next video on what's so wonderful about water or what's so special about water, whatever way you want to look at it. In this case, we're going to look at water as being a balance between acids and bases. Water on its own, just sitting in a cup of water like that, will disso disassociate, or I should say dissociate, not disassociate, but dissociate into hydrogen and hydroxide ions. How much of the water will actually do that? Well, it's not a lot. The concentrations of the hydrogen ion and the hydroxide ion is actually 1 times 10 to the minus 7 per unit of water. In other words, out of 10 million water molecules, only 1 out of 10 million will dissociate into hydrogen and hydronium. So that's the, that the um, concentration of, of the hydrogen ion is 1 in 10 million, typically in a cup. And at that point, the pH level of the water will be equal to 7, and that would be, that's considered neutral between acids and bases. That's the in-between point between acids and bases. So what happens then when you add acid to water, or you add base to water, when you add acid to water, then more hydrogens will appear versus hyd uh, hydroxide ions, and so there'll be a, a mismatch. Hydroxide ions will disappear, more hydrogens will appear, and they'll become more acidic. If you add a base to the water, then more hydroxide ions will appear, less hydrogen ions will be there, and it'll become more basic. But water is the balance between the two. So if you have a solution that's very acidic or very basic, you can turn that back towards the neutral point by adding simply by adding more water. And water will then neutralize the acid and bases. Of course, you need to add a lot of, uh, a lot of um, water in order to make that happen. And you will never quite get to the pH equals 7 unless you add the appropriate amount of acid and base to completely neutralize it. But the amount of water does enable something to bring the pH up or down through a mechanism of balancing it out. So the human body does that. There's a lot of uh, need for the human body to have certain pH balances within the body, and we can, and the body adjusts that by if the if the pH goes up to high or to low by adding additional water to to balance that out. And so water is a mechanism to balancing out the pH between acids and bases. And again, it's an amazing thing that water allows the existence of the hydrogen and the hydroxide ions to create the acidic and the basis, um, the acidic solutions and the basic solutions in the world. So again, water is that special molecule that does these amazing things, and we'll learn much more about this as we go on with these videos.